Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two circles put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, they are tangent to each other at this point. And moreover, this is the center of the larger circle and this is the center of the smaller circle. And furthermore, uh, this uh, radius of this uh, larger circle is uh, 80 units, whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, is uh, 48 uh, units and now our task is uh, to find out uh, which area is uh, larger whether the yellow area or the green uh, area and we are going to justify our answer please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's go ahead and calculate the radius of this uh, larger uh, circle and we know that this uh, is the radius of this uh, large circle and that is uh, 80 units. Let me go ahead and label uh, the radius of this uh, big circle as uh, uppercase R and that is going to be equal to 80. And now we are going to calculate the radius of this uh, smaller uh, circle and we know the radius of this uh, large circle uh, is uh, 80 so therefore this is going to be the radius of the large circle as well so this is uh, 80 units as well and we know that this segment is uh, 48 so therefore uh, this uh, segment has got to be 80 minus 48 uh, that is going to give us uh, 32 units and now we know that this uh, length uh, is uh, 80 and uh, this uh, length is uh, 32 so therefore uh, this uh, whole length is going to be 80 plus 32 is going to give us 112 and we can see that this 112 is going to be the diameter of this uh, smaller circle so the radius uh, of this uh, smaller circle is going to be half of that one so it is going to be 50 6. Let me go ahead and represent the radius of this smaller circle by lowercase r and that is going to be equal to 56 uh, units. So thus we figured out the radius of the smaller circle is 56 uh, and the radius of the larger circle is 80. And now we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to be little creative. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, blue shaded region by symmetry. So therefore we transferred our green area to this side. And now let's focus on our this uh, pink uh, shaded area. I'm going to add this uh, pink shaded area to this uh, green region. And also I'm going to add this uh, pink shaded area to this uh, yellow region as well. And as a result, we got this uh, quarter circle area included uh, this whole part. And we got uh, this uh, semi-circle area on this side as well, including this uh, whole thing. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle first. And just keep in your mind that this uh, quarter circle belongs to this uh, larger circle whose uh, radius is uh, 80. Whereas this uh, green semicircle belongs to this uh, smaller circle. So therefore we are going to consider radius as 56. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square where r is the radius. So let's go ahead and focus on this uh, yellow quarter circle area first so let me go ahead and fill in the blanks so therefore the area is going to be equal to pi times our radius is 80 so this is going to become 80 whole square and we are going to divide it by 4 since we are dealing with the quarter circle so let's go ahead and simplify so this is going to give us 64 100 pi divided by 4 and if we simplify further so that is going to give us 1600 pi 
So thus the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle turns out to be 1600 pi. And now let's focus uh, on the green uh, semicircle area whose uh, radius uh, is uh, 56. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So area in this case uh, is going to be pi times uh, 56 uh, whole uh, square. And I am going to divide it by 2 since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle. Let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. So that's going to give us uh, 31, 36 uh, pi divided by 2. So that is going to give us uh, 1568 uh, pi. So therefore the area of this uh, green semicircle turns out to be 1568 uh, pi. And now we can see that this uh, area, the yellow quarter circle area is uh, larger than the area of this uh, green uh, semicircle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, yellow area is uh, larger than the green uh, area. So thus we conclude that this uh, yellow area is uh, larger than uh, this uh, green area. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.